So for day one of five minute, five minute planks, it's actually gonna be a lot of hands and knees, a lot of quadruped, and I'm using a yoga block. Yoga block is gonna go under my left knee, on hands and knees, knees level, hips level, even though right knee is floating and left knee is on there. I'm gonna reach right leg long and out and bring it back in. Reach the leg long and out, hips stay level and back in. You could certainly choose to take your left hand out of it. Notice my left toes aren't touching the ground. Left hand could come off of the floor and wrap around, reach back and bring it back in. Reach back and in, slow and steady. Your gaze can be down at the floor, slow and steady as I lose my balance. Last one on this side and switching it to the other side. Hips level, knees level, shoulders level, back strong, reach and bend it back in. So if these toes are tucked under and down, uh, the balance is going to be a lot easier. Challenge your balance by untucking your standing toes and maybe taking your opposite hand out of the equation. I'm moving my left leg, my left hand stays down. This is my more challenging side. It challenges my weaker obliques to balance this way. Reach long, 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 and bend it back in. Two more on this side. Reach, and in. Last one. And in. Resting for a moment off of the arms. And next set, gonna come back, block under the left knee, weight on the hands, hips level, knees level, and then a little fire hydrant action. So opening up my right knee and then floating it back down. Opening up and floating it back down. Staying long through both sides of the waist, so no side bend, no hiking up of that hip. You could definitely, I don't know if I can do it. Yep, there we go. You could definitely challenge yourself to take your left hand off of the floor. One more like this. Switching sides. I'm gonna turn around because otherwise my fire hydrant leg there will hit the couch. So right knee, scapula broad. I'm not sinking down here, really strong. Fire hydrant that left leg and bring it back down. Try not to shift your hips towards the right, towards your standing leg as you do this. Maintain the length through both sides of the waist. Lift up as high as you can without hiking the hip. And if you wanna play with freeing that opposite arm, unweighting it, lift up, 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 and lower back down. Do two more this side. and bring it back down. You can rest in child's pose. We'll do full bird dog to finish here so you don't need the block. Coming onto hands and knees, finishing with full bird dog, which is reaching one arm forward and the opposite leg back and bringing it down, switching sides. Reach, 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 reach. How high can you go without the ribs, without the spine having to be um, moved by that, by the limbs. Reach, think front and back rather than up and down. Front and back, reach, reach, reach. And in, reach it out. One more each side, scapula broad, long neck. Last one. And the bonus round here, the culmination, tuck your toes under, wrap your scapula forward and hover your knees. Hold and breathe. 
The spine is long, the hips are in line with the shoulders, they're not hiked up, we'll get there in a moment. Hold here and breathe for four, three, two, one. Lift your abdominals, round your back like you're going into cat stretch, but then keep lifting so high that you lengthen your legs, your heels are high, your back is round, it's not down dog, you're scooped up in a pike. And then lengthen your spine, keep your heels high, Try to really pull up from your hips and then drop your heels down into that inverted V, down dog. Come down onto your knees, shift back to child's pose, reach forward, forehead down. 